Good afternoon to our Denton ISD students, teachers, parents, and community. Uh, just a quick note and a Friday update about the previous week and what we can expect in the coming week. So this week you should have um, had an opportunity to review a little bit about what face-to-face in-person learning will look like in our schools this week. Um, we've sent out an elementary video um, early in the week and then followed that up with a high school secondary video a little later. Um, next week you can expect to see what the connected learning plans will look like and what a sample schedule might be. Had many parents and many families ask me about what will connected learning look like. It's hard for us to commit until we know what it's going to look like. Um, as many of you may have seen, um, we are having the first day of school be August the 26th. We are starting in a remote learning environment um, with our in-person offerings to begin September the 8th. So those of you that are interested in connected learning, we'll be able to use those first eight days from August the 26th until September the 8th for you to kind of see what the what connected learning will look like. Um, and if you choose that, to be a part of that, we will certainly allow you that opportunity um, because as I talked about last week, the more students we have that, that choose the connected learning option, the, the more we can physical distance in our schools and, and keep the numbers smaller in, in lower areas. Um, we're looking forward to the start of the school year. Um, our teachers will report next week. Um, so each of you can expect to begin to see a little more coming from your campuses with regard to personal connections from each of our teachers and our teachers of record for you. Um, in the coming weeks, um, I say this week, this coming week and next week, um, our teachers are going to be reaching out to our families to, to ask about connectivity, um, about Wi-Fi devices and Wi-Fi connectivity in our homes and device access, um, and really also the structure at home for, for at-home learning as we start the year remotely. Um, we really want to work with our families to, to make that as um, beneficial as, as possible for our students, but also as unintrusive for our families as we possibly can. And um, we've been working with our local health officials on that recommendation and following those guidelines along, along with them and really are looking forward to um, when we get to have our kids in person on September the 8th. Um, I, I say all the time that every year, the, the first part of the year is exciting. Um, this year, um, it's really double exciting because it's been quite some time since we've seen our students. And I'm sure many of you are ready uh, for them to come back to us. And I'm sure you were disappointed um, when you learned that we, we have to wait another eight days before we actually can get them in person. And I completely understand um, where you are with regard to that. So what I need from our community is really a couple of things. Number one, please complete the connected learning commitment form um, that's on our website so we will know exactly what to plan for for connected learning. Remember that remote learning, how we're starting the year, and connected learning are really two different things. So if you're interested in, in staying online and learning virtually for the first nine weeks of the school year, please commit, complete that, con that connected learning form. My team asked me and challenged me to see how many folks we could get to go ahead and get that paperwork completed. It's on our website at www.dentonisd.org slash back to school. Um, in addition to that, the rest of you who are, who are really planning on in-person face-to-face learning, you don't have to do anything other than be ready for remote learning on August the 26th. And our teachers will be in, in contact with you for what that's going to look like. And if you need connectivity, um, Wi-Fi access or devices or anything along those lines, we'll be working with you on that. And I can't say this enough, but I need everyone to remember the big four. If we want to have in-person learning in our schools for the entire fall semester and not have to, to close for any, any short period of time because of outbreaks within our community, we are doing a really good job. Let's keep it up with the big four. Number one, wear a facial covering. Find a really neat one that has the Braswell Bengals or the Geyer Wildcats or the Denton Broncos or the Ryan Raiders on it. Um, but wear a face covering. Number two, physical distance from others. Um, do what you can to, to, to uh, stay away and, and, and um, try to keep your distance. Um, I think we need to socially connect. We all need to see other people, but let's be physically distant. Uh, the third thing is make sure you, pro you uh, practice hand hygiene and keep your hands clean. And then the last one, and this is the biggest one, please avoid large gatherings as much as you can. And I also say that unless you have to go out, don't. Um, order in. Um, order out to our local restaurants and really support them across our community. Um, when you order out from one of our, our local Denton ISD restaurants, not only are you supporting them, but you're also supporting the, the, the companies and the organizations that, that supply 
the to-go products, the styrofoam, the plates, the napkins, the forks. So you really play it forward whenever you do order, order takeout. So um, continue to do that. Remember the big four. Help us with the Connected Learning Forum and be looking for videos regarding what online learning is going to look like, our Connected Learning Platform, um, as we get ready to start this school year. Um, it seems like a long time ago, back in March, and it was, uh, to think about that we are eight days away from seeing our kids face to face again is, is really a, um, I say eight days away, I'm talking about August the 26th through September the 8th, eight school days away, um, we can get anything done. So thank you, have a great day, and we appreciate all you do. And just remember that together we're better.